Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we will use the Nadia Master 20 to engrave a few images into wood. Before we start, a little safety warning. The Nadia Master 20 is a very powerful laser that can cause a fire and or permanent eye damage or other injuries. This can happen in a fraction of a second, so always be on your guard when working with the laser. When the device is plugged in, always wear safety glasses and good thick clothing. The laser causes burns to the surface that you touch with it and these combustion gases are also very harmful. So always work in a well ventilated area to ensure that you work uh, safe. And if you're not working in a well ventilated area, work with a gas mask. Working with a laser is always at your own risk. Make sure that unauthorized persons and pets do not have access to the area where you are working with the laser. Now this is all set. Today we are going to connect the Nadia Master to the computer and make the first laser engraving in wood. You will need the following items to follow this exercise. A computer with Windows or a Mac OS X software. The Nadia Master 20 with associated power supply and cables and a board of wood. Turn on the computer and make sure you have installed the Nadia Master software on the computer and connect the Nadia Master 20 with the supplied USB cable. Do not start the software yet, we will only do this when the laser is on. Now we are going to connect the power supply for the Nadia Master 20, but ensure that the unit has no on off switch. When you plug the power supply to the Nadia Master, it's actually on and therefore it's important that you already wear your safety glasses when you are doing this. If all goes well, you can now see the laser burning at very low power. The tip of the laser shows a small blue dot. At the front of the laser module, there is a lens with a ribbed edge that you can turn to focus the lens. But before you do this, another warning. If you see the laser burning, always assume that it is burning at full power, even if you know that this is not true. When the laser touches your skin, for example your finger, it will cause a very deep cut that heals very hard. We are going to focus the lens in a moment, but we are not allowed to touch the lens with your fingers. So make sure you only grasp the lens from the side and turn it. As you rotate, you see the point getting sharper and less sharp, or as some people call it, bigger and smaller. When the tip is at its smallest, it's as sharp as possible. Note that this is only true for the surface that the laser is now aiming at. If you place another block of wood or something else under the tip, you will have to focus uh, to this new surface again. Now that the laser is sharp, we will start the software. In the case of this video tutorial, I use the Nadia version 4.7 release 14 on a Windows computer. Now that the software has been started and I assume the laser is found on your computer, we go to the control tab. There you will see the radar wheel at the bottom right. Click on that radar wheel. Put the laser in slow mode. Move the brightness slider all the way to the left, minimum power, and set the sensitivity of the motion detection to medium. Do not press the set all to default button because then you will undo your settings and you must do this again. Use the cross in the upper corner to close this window. We now go to the photo gallery tab, where you can find images and you can choose one here. If you have chosen an image, you will get a new screen where you can see the image, possibly with a grey border around it. Double click on the image to make it all white and click on OK. You will now see a screen where you could change the size, but we are not going to do that for now. First you will burn this image, so you confirm again that this image is good by clicking on OK. Now a screen will appear with 9 iterations of the image. All a bit different. Hover with the mouse over the images to see them big. And choose one you like. Note, when you click on an image, you also select this image. In the next step, step 4, you can add text if you like, but for now we are not going to do that. Just click OK in the bottom right corner. The screen where you are now is called the control screen and it shows you the image and its format. You can press the rectangle here so that now the machine will show you where the image will be burned on your wood block. Make sure there is a block of wood under your selected surface and if necessary press the crosshair. 
If you do so, you can focus the laser again on that object that you are going to burn. If you are sure that this is alright and the laser is in focus, we are going to set the power adjustment. At the bottom of the screen you will see a slider showing the burning time. Because we are talking about the 20 watt laser version, we are going to set the slider all the way to the left, telling the software that we will not use any delay. The delay is therefore 0 milliseconds. A bit more to the right and up, there is another slider, and this is the laser power. We will start with 20%. Maybe we will need more, but this is depending on the type of material that you are using under the laser engraver. For normal plywood, 20% will be good. Now we only have to check one more thing, and that's the counter at the right of the play button. This should show 1, meaning that the laser is only going to perform its task once. Once this is all set, you again make sure that you wear your safety glasses and then you press the play button. The machine will now first show you where it's going to engrave the image and then it will go to the starting point for the laser and then start burning. Calmly wait for this burning. Note that the way the laser works is from the left to the right and from the right to the left. And this is what they call bitmap burning. When the laser is finished, turn it off by removing the plug from the device. The software will show the laser is disconnected and now you can safely pick up the wood that you engraved and take off your glasses. If you repeat these steps, then please go and play with the size settings or with the possibilities to also enter a text. If you dare, try if you can find out how to make a text without an image. These are the essential steps for working with the Nate Jam Master Cutter Engraver. Now if you liked this video then please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you hit that bell notification because then you will be notified every time I make a new video. Also in the descriptions there is a link to buy this NJ Master Engraver and uh, well if you do so then uh, I will get a little bit of your money uh, because it's an affiliate link and uh, you won't have to pay any extra it's paid by the company that sells the machine. So it would be really appreciated if you use that link to buy this Master Engraver. Now I'll see you around in the next video. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye.